Other news, professional tattoo artists around the state are calling on the Department of Health and Hospitals to take action on what they call scratchers, amateurs making a bad name for their business. The industry is regulated by DHH, but too often these scratchers are able to just skirt by. They often don't charge very much, which can be appealing, but as Micah Hatfield investigates, there are some very serious dangers. One thousand one hundred and thirty three licensed tattooers in the state of Louisiana, 27 of which are in Acadiana. That's us walking around out there. That's triple A tattoo. So, you know, that that's our biggest and best advertisement. Kobe Cox takes pride in his work, so he doesn't mind the regulations put on him by the state. Since the Department of Health and Hospitals started regulating tattoo artists in 2000, they've required tattoo artists to take courses in CPR, first aid, and bloodborne pathogens and disease to get a license. It, it's more difficult than you think. I mean, um, you, you have to have an autoclave. You have to have a, a building. You know, you have to have a business license. Uh, you do have to get inspected by the health department. But there are several artists in the state that are avoiding the regulations altogether. If they can do it on the sly and on the side, that, that they may do that. That's probably an economic decision. They're, they're charging less money than someone who has a license and has to pay these other fees. The conditions are horrific. Uh, dogs running around, uh, ashtray, liquor bottles. Uh, there was one guy even using um, plastic Coke bottle caps for his uh, ink caps. No gloves, um, just tons of red flags, and people still continue to go there. Cox tells us these artists lure friends and family members in first with free tattoos, but they run the risk of getting a lot more than just a tattoo. Anywhere from um, a slight infection, AIDS, MRSA, um, staff, there's numerous bacteriological uh, diseases that can be contracted and some are, are deadly. And possibly being scarred with bad artwork that cannot always be covered. So Cox wants DHH to take these unlicensed artists more seriously and close them down. If they continue what they're doing and, and continue to mess people up, then it, it may come down on legal tattooers as well. That happened you know, years ago in New York State where they were just like, well, we're just not gonna allow tattooing anymore. So they shut it down completely. I don't think that'll happen in Louisiana, but that's a concern as well. In Lafayette, Micah Hatfield, KETC, TV3. Our investigative team found several unlicensed tattoo artists in Acadiana who advertise on Facebook and YouTube. DHH is aware of them, but so far no action has been taken, and DHH is encouraging the public to let them know about any unlicensed tattoo artists.